A drone fly. Buzzing from flower to flower, this little insect is a honeybee mimic, pretending to be harmful when it's not. This particular species is known by its binomial name, Aristalis tenax. But what does this mean? What's a binomial name? All will be revealed. In this episode, we'll be exploring biological classification. Biological classification is a form of scientific taxonomy. As we've learnt in Phil's Insect Orders episode, taxonomy is simply a way of putting things into categories. Biological classification is how scientists categorise all living things, from bison to bacteria. The man who came up with it all was Carl Linnaeus, who came up with a system of categorising the natural world based on shared characteristics. Most importantly, he came up with something called the Latin binomial system, a two-worded system used today to give a unique scientific name to every known species. We'll come back to that in a little bit. His ranking system was much improved by Charles Darwin's principle of common descent and the onset of modern cladistics. Instead of organisms being grouped purely on shared characteristics, they were now grouped according to evolutionary relatedness, using evidence from multiple fields. So what are the ranks that Linnaeus came up with? Well, let's go back to our drone fly. We'll start with the species, Aristalis tenax. This is the Latin binomial name and is unique to this species. Tenax is a species name, given to only that specific type of drone fly. Aristalis is the name of the genus. There are nine other species of drone fly in Britain that share this genus, all of which are closely related. All members of this genus are found in the family Cerfidae, the hoverflies. Hoverflies belong to the order Diptera, the true flies. Flies are insects, and insects are part of the phylum Arthropoda, animals with an external skeleton, segmented body, and appendages, like crustaceans, arachnids, and centipedes. Ultimately, the drone fly is part of the animal kingdom, and is a eukaryote, an organism whose cells contain a nucleus. So these are the general taxonomic ranks. You can remember them using this helpful mnemonic, do koalas prefer chocolate or fruit, generally speaking? But sometimes extra ranks are needed to classify a distinctive group within a taxa, making things a teeny tiny bit more complicated. In the case of the drone fly, all British Aristalis species and another 18 British drone fly species fall into the tribe Aristalini. The hoverfly family in Britain contains another 11 tribes. Okay, let's look at a more familiar example. A fellow mammal, the jaguar. Its Latin binomial name is Panthera onca. The genus Panthera is shared by other big cats, like the lion, leopard and tiger. Big cats are part of the cat family, Felidae. And Felidae is part of the order Carnivora, which includes creatures like dogs, seals, and bears. Carnivora is a mammalian order, and mammals are part of the order Chordata. Other Chordata classes include our feathered backbone relatives, the birds, and the aquatic jawless fish. Again, we can add intermediate ranks. In the case of the jaguar, we get subspecies. Jaguar populations differ morphologically and genetically because of isolation and their subsequent adaptations. Jaguars have eight recognized subspecies. So why not just call it a jaguar? Well, jaguar is its common name, but common names can differ from country to country or even within regions within a country. For example, this plant is called cleavers, sticky bud, or even goosegrass, depending on what part of the UK you're from. Sometimes two different species can share the same common name. In Europe, Arithicus rebecula is called the robin. In North America, Turdus migratorius is also called the robin. 
The Latin binomial name makes things far less confusing. It's unique to the species, and is the same in every country and every language. It's universal. But remember, the Latin binomial name is not just a label. It also implies biological relationships, specifically evolutionary ones. So hopefully that shed a bit more light on how biologists categorise life. We've got specific videos on orders and families, and if you want to see those, click here. In the meantime, catch you later.